Hello YouTubers, uh, this is a short review of the charge and sync cable for the uh, iPod iPhone. Uh, more specifically it's a 56 cent charge and sync cable that I bought on Amazon. Now I needed a new, uh, or actually I should say I needed another charge and sync cable. I wanted to have one that I could hook up away from my computer and one to leave on my computer. And when I looked at the uh, price for the Apple charge and sync cable, which is right here, they wanted $20 for one of these cables, which I thought was too much money. So I went and looked for an alternative. And what I found was this cable right here. I found it on Amazon.com for $0.56. Cents. Now, you may think for $0.56 cents that you're getting a piece of crap that'll break or that won't work or whatever. So I read the reviews of it, and a majority of the reviews said that it worked okay and that they didn't have any problem with it. Like any product, you're going to have some negative reviews of it. So I thought, well, for $0.56, cents, I really can't go wrong. Now, if you look at the two cables and compare them, the only difference I see is the $0.56 cent cable is about a half an inch shorter than the Apple cable, and the end connector... On the 56 cent cable, if you see the bottom down here by my finger, the ends are rounded off. And on the Apple cable, the ends are squared off. And uh, the only other difference I see is the 56 cent cable, this connector that fits into your iPod or iPhone fits tighter than the Apple cable. Uh, I know some people have said that they've some people have gotten cables with buttons on the end of this on the sides of this connector that you had to push to release it. Well, mine doesn't have that. Mine is just like the Apple cable; it has no release buttons or anything like that. Uh, as far as it working, this cable works perfect. With I have an Apple iPod Touch; it charges it and it syncs it perfectly. I have had no issues, no problems whatsoever. Um, Will it last as long as the Apple cable? Don't know, but for 56 cents, you really can't go wrong. You can buy, you know, 40 of them for what you pay for the Apple cable. So uh, I highly recommend this 56 cent charge and sync cable. If you have an iPod Touch fourth generation, I will report that it does work with that. I can't speak for the iPhone because I don't have an iPhone, but. I know a lot of uh, the reviews said that it did work with the iPhone 4 also. So if you need a spare cable to charge and sync your iDevice, this 56 cent cable did the trick for me and I recommend it. If you have any questions or comments about this cable or this review, feel free to ask them and I'll do what I can to answer them for you. And thanks for watching my review.